What's going on y'all, this is Chris with No Limit Squad, your personal ISO chain and fitness vlogging channel. Today, you and I are going to have a chat on a fitness myth today. Um, one of, I'm sure, many that are gonna be on this channel. And today's myth is isometric training doesn't get you big. If you wanna get big, you just do your concentric and eccentric, your dynamic movements, right? Wrong, let's get into it. All right, so let's, let's go into why this myth even exists in the first place, okay? So everything comes from somewhere. This particular myth of you can't get big off of isometrics comes from one of these earlier studies, of course, right? Because we're always evolving, so as we evolve, we learn more. Just like, can you believe in the past, doctors thought that washing hands was unnecessary? Can you believe that? That? We've grown a lot since then, haven't we, right? The study was you can't get big off of isometric training. The problem was when they did that study, they were only testing function, strength and endurance, not the actual size of the muscle in question, right? So along comes a group in the 80s, the med department in the University College of London, right? What's their goal? Their goal, they wanted to end the debate entirely. Can you get bigger or not with isometric training? So. They dove into it, thank God, because this got this got me and I'm sure everyone watching, hype, hype. And if you think about it, right, at that time, like nobody really answered this before. Like at that time, and even now, if you look on the internet, like I was curious about this. I was like, if you, if you look on the internet, you don't really find an answer to this. Can you get big with isometric training? Like you usually see like run of the mill questions or people dodging it because they don't really know or some dude giving a, giving a bro science about it, but they don't know Either. they're just guessing and I, I get it they gotta do what they gotta do to look whatever how to however they want to look but listen we deal in fact and here's a fact there was an experiment called the Springfield frog experiment an experiment that I find absolutely fascinating I love like nerdy fitness talk all right so I, I I thought this was fascinating right so they had they have frogs right so what they did was they bound one of the frogs legs to wood this leg is free to move however it however it can move this leg cannot move it is stuck in place so the, the frog is like you know trying to get out but he can't move it's stuck he can't move all right so this went on for two weeks after the experiment was done what happened was they unwrapped the splint, took the wood off, and they found that the freaking frog's leg was huge, all defined, all muscular, all toned up. And when the frog tried to jump, it couldn't even jump in a straight line. It kept jumping to the freaking side because the one leg was freaking super strong and super jacked. Isn't that crazy? Here's a photo of it right now. Like, what the hell? So, and I, when I saw that, I was like, yo, this is crazy, yo. Like, I don't know what they're doing with I mean, whatever, they, they did with frogs, but I mean, it, it's cool, it's interesting, right? It's like, huh. But if you're thinking what I'm thinking, right? That's cool, I mean, that is freaking awesome, actually. But those are frogs, right? Just like um, people, like scientists experiments on rats um, before they start to, but it's still, it's still rats, right? It's not people, so it's frogs, but what about people? Well, back to the University College in London, so they did a 12 week study, not a two week this time, it is a 12 week, it is a three month study, okay? We have, a, we have a group of people, okay? And we're doing the leg extension. If you guys have ever done a leg extension before, the pin selector leg extension, it could, it could even be the plated one, it doesn't matter, okay? So here's what it looks like. So we had a, we had a group of people, two groups, group one and group two, or group A and group B, whatever. All right, so group A, they were performing the, um, the movement dynamically. So group A, leg extension, concentric, eccentric. One leg only, the other leg didn't even do anything. All right, so concentric, eccentric, that's group A. Group B held that contraction statically. The weight is preloaded. The bar is right, right around their um, right, right around their ankle, and they're holding it. And so after a while, if you guys have ever done um, two second holds on a leg extension for your training, them two seconds burn. Let alone holding it for any more time. Okay, time under tension principles. Okay, so it is burning. That's all they did. That is all Group B did for three months. The other leg again, it wasn't worked like that. It was worked normally, okay? So group A, concentric and eccentric. Group B, static contraction. And that static contraction is a style of isometric training called yielding isometric training. It is brutal. Um, and depending on your training, I highly recommend it. Y'all gotta check this graph out. 
this is crazy all right because when i when i first read this in the uh, isometric manual yo i just i love knowledge all right so check this out here's a graph so if you can see on on the left right um this is muscle contractile strength muscle size and muscle density and the right hand corner there's a little legend there the concentric eccentric and isometric all right this is a hypertrophy result charts and um power from zero all the way up to 900 all right check this out the strength of the isometrically trained quads was off the freaking chart doubling the eccentric strength increase and tripling the concentric gain we know on this channel that uh there is no faster way to develop strength than than isometric training i mean there is no faster way on the face of the earth that is the fastest way to develop strength bar none so there was no surprise there However, there were some surprises with hypertrophy, all right? So in the book, they go over this. All three methods of the resistance training caused some growth, though nothing was equal to the strength gain. The strength gain was off the charts and the isometric was clearly the winner by far. The highest muscle gain came from the concentric training. Okay, no surprise there, where the muscles increased by an average of 3.8 centimeters, okay? But check this out. The isometrics came in second at 3.7. It was right there proving that isometrics can develop size. This is a hypertrophy study. And in third place came eccentric and dead last at 2.4 centimeters. Now I'm gonna cut the graph real quick. This actually, when I first read this, this actually really surprised me because I always thought, you know, yes, time under tension, you can't beat time under tension, obviously, which is why isometrics came so high in this study. But I always thought that eccentric was the king. I mean, for years. And this just shows you that exercise science runs deep. It does. There's always something to learn. I love this stuff. Um, another thing, the isometrically trained muscles also gain more density. So if you think muscle tone, right? Um, more density than the uh, eccentric or concentrically trained um, or pretty much a dynamically trained muscles. So what that means is like, say uh, your, fr your friends link up with you and they, they see they see it's like oh man you know and they feel up your muscles or whatever and it's solid you know what um i um i, I read a, a book by bruce lee um the art of expressing the human body i believe it's called um i could drop a link down in the description below highly recommend reading that book um, and one of one of bruce's friends in the book mentioned he's like whenever i felt whenever i felt bruce's muscles it was just like solid like steel or something to that something to that effect now i like, i've been in the, in the weight room for january 1st a couple days from now will be 12 years i've seen and you know no no type of way you know no type of way you know i've felt muscle especially with my profession i've felt muscle from trained athletes and people just starting i really don't run into like even the big guys that train for hypertrophy i mean yeah it's there but it's, it's still a little squishy but every now and then i ran into somebody that's just solid so if, if y'all been around around the block too y'all know what i'm talking about so to conclude yes you can get big with hypertrophy so the the last question that should come to all of our minds because this is what i thought as well so how long do you hold the contraction because isometric is all about static contraction holding or um exerting force in in a in a static position for time so how much time so we know that pushing as hard as we can for six seconds will skyrocket your strength gains. But we're not talking about strength today. We're talking about hypertrophy. The number is 20 to 45 seconds. Okay. That is information I grabbed from Paul Wade's isometric manual. It is, it is a fantastic book. Highly recommend purchasing. It's on Amazon and everything. So I could drop a link in, uh, down below for that as well. Highly recommend. It is a wealth of knowledge. 400 pages of just knowledge. The more you know, the farther you go, right? My thoughts are, why not just do both of them? You know, if you wanna get big, yeah, you can do concentric and eccentric. Again, the concentric came in first place at 3.8, but isometric came in 3.7. My, my thoughts are, why not just do both? So you get your dynamic training in the gym and you get your isometric training, which takes 10 minutes at home, 10 minutes, versus the 45 minutes to maybe an hour and a half in the gym, 10 minutes? why wouldn't you do that anybody that wants to make moves they would 10 minutes for a three it's right there it's literally right there it's not even like here it's like right there why wouldn't you take advantage of that even more size and if you don't believe me why don't you just try it for yourself instead of doubting it so much why don't you try it for yourself for a no not for a week no not for two weeks or three 
four to six week standard training protocol. Measure yourself before you do it and measure yourself afterward. That way you can truly test it for yourself. I will, I know I will, especially for my legs. One of my goals for 2021, I want my legs jacked. They're strong, but I want them big as well. And I'll have a video on that too. I'll see you at the top there. That's all I got for the hypertrophy. I hope this answered everyone's questions. If it didn't, drop them down in the comment section below. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this content, be sure to drop a like, comment, and if you're not yet part of the No Limit Squad, Come and join the squad. We're going to the top. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.